What's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to connect Python Anywhere with GitHub. Now, the reason we want to do this is, so when you usually, when you develop an app, you would develop it locally, you would push it to GitHub to, to make sure your code is safe, and then you want to uh, deploy it, and the way to deploy it is using Python Anywhere. Now, in Python Anywhere, you could actually edit the code itself in your files, and there's a file editor, but it's not the best way to do it. Usually you would do is, you know, develop it locally, push it to GitHub. Now we want to take that code that's on GitHub and put it to Python anywhere. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that using a simple Flask app. Now I already prepared uh, the, a GitHub repository with the Flask application. You can see it right here. And this is, you know, this is a really simple one that you could, if you could find, if you go to the Flask website, you go down and go to quick start. So it's the exact same one that's that's right here. I wanted to keep it simple because we're going to focus on more of the integration with Python Anywhere and GitHub. And this is where I have it locally. So let's try to run it locally first. Use the flask um, command. Run. And this is where it's running. So we just click on that to open it. Now this is running locally. And what we want to do is instead of running it locally, we want to deploy it and but on Python anywhere. Now for the way to do that is to connect GitHub and uh, Python anywhere. And we use that using SSH. So in order to do that, we will go open a bash console in Python anywhere. Now when this starts up, okay. So we're in, we can just LS to see where we are. We have the readme. And there's quite a few hidden stuff here as well. Now, in order to connect Python anywhere with GitHub, we're going to use the SSH protocol. And for the first step in that is we need to generate these SSH keys. So there's a command called SSH key gen. Um, so it's going to, what it actually does is going to save a hidden directory called .ssh. And it's going to put in something called the private key and the public key. And this is the default name. So at this point, just press enter. We don't need a paraphrase unless you want to add it secure, but that's not that important. So we don't need the paraphrase. So right now, what it did is it generated uh, a private key, which is going to be the IDS ID RSA and a public key, which is the ID dash uh, underscore RSA dot pub. And we can see that we could go in to Clear this. Go into that directory, the hidden directory. You can see what we have. Now, an important thing to note: what this is, this is the private key that you don't want on any other system. The ID, uh, the public key, is what you want to, which is public, but you still don't want to, you know, give it out to anyone. But this is what we're going to use um, to connect to GitHub. We're going to take this key. We're actually going to show the contents. And remember, this is, I'm going to show it now, but later I'll delete it and generate a new one. But thing is, you don't want to, you know, other people to access this because with this, you could um, connect to servers that you, only you want to connect to, right? So, and that's what we're essentially doing is we're connecting the Python anywhere to the GitHub server in order to get the, the code that we want. So I copied this. Now we go back to, to GitHub. So instead of the repo, we go to just our user and actually, no, it's the settings. So we go down to the settings and we go to the SSH and GPG keys. Now this is where we add those public SSH keys to servers that we want access. And that's what we're doing. We're accessing the GitHub server through Python anywhere. So we're making a new SSH key. I'm just going to name it. Um, let's just call it Python anywhere yeah. yeah python anywhere is good this is just for you when when you see a bunch your all your keys you know which one it is now here is where we copy the actual key add ssh key okay it's going to ask you to write in your password so go ahead and do that now once you type in your password it'll add the keys and you could see it right here you can see kind of like a preview but that means we are now allowed access um, to connect Python Anywhere to our GitHub. So if we go back, 
go back here and let's go back to our you know, home directory and I'm gonna make actually I don't need to make a directory what I'm gonna do is actually clone our application so we go back here we go to our repositories take this one yeah so an important part here is we go to the code and we're gonna clone it so what the important thing is we're not using HTTPS we're using SSH so that's what you need to click on and you will copy this string you just copy the, all this text right here and then we get clone and then There we go. And then you copy, you paste it in there. Now it's gonna do this thing where it it saves this fingerprint, and you just say yeah, because you you know you're accessing your the server that you want, and that means uh, it cloned it. So we could go ls, and we could see Python anywhere. And then you can see we have the exact same files that we have locally. So this means we're able to. Get all that code which is on github to our python anywhere that's not much code it's just that small flask app but now we know we have it here so what we could do is go back to our dashboard and since it's a flask app we want to actually set it up on python anywhere so we go to the web tab and we're going to add a new web app and yeah it's going to give you the default um domain name which is your username and python anywhere.com so that's good we go to next now, since we're, we're using a Flask app, might as well use this uh, Flask configuration. I think, yeah, I'm using, uh, we could just use this, Python 3.10. Now here, we're actually not using that. Um, which I'm gonna open just to see where this file is. I'm gonna open this up and yeah, we cloned it here, Python Flask anywhere, and it's the app.py. So this is what we actually need and you can see the path here so it's home slash kevin tech slash python anywhere and then the app.py so that's what we're going to do we're going to do python anywhere let's see if i oh it's anywhere flask and then it was app.py app good we go to the next step uh seems like it's it's good so it's all done um we could do is reload just in case but it'll probably all, all automatically reloaded when we set it up and if that yeah that's reloaded we could open this and that's that's the local app that we had running and it's exact same code so now we actually have it deployed so that's really cool so this is a good workflow that we have is you know we develop it locally we push it to github and then actually pull um from github to python anywhere now to just go through one simple uh, workflow let's say we want to develop it further so i'm just gonna go to our local local application and let's say we want to add a new route uh, so i'm just gonna take this and i'm just gonna call it uh, test test uh, route and let's just put some text so testing new route endpoint okay you can see we made the modifications and we made it a new endpoint so we're just going to add and commit this so let's do add new endpoint push now right now it pushed to github so we could check it there it says add new endpoint so that's, that's there now let's go back to our python anywhere we could go to the dashboard and let's go open this bash again actually it's a it's already open so if you have recently opened consoles just go here and click on it We can run git pull to get all the changes. So now we pulled the changes. We can just confirm that the app.py changed. You can see we, ha we have the new endpoint here. And then we go back to the dashboard. And we'll go to the web. 
and it's important that we need to reload the, the application otherwise we won't see the changes so once we reloaded the application we could go to uh the url and of course this is working so that's the that's the default route and the new route that we added is test and that's also working so we just updated our code we went through the workflow of you know editing the code base locally pushing it to github and pulling it to python anywhere now granted this could be a bit manual and you know the way the industry is going nowadays is we want everything automated so we want automated deployments and in one of the future videos i'm going to we're going to take a look at how we could automate that so instead of pulling it uh, going you know going to python and we're going to the bash and pulling the code manually we'll see how we could trigger it through github actions or some other cool automated automated way so i hope you learned something in this video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time